$40 for a gaming keyboard and mouse combo. I haven't done too many of these combos. I'm Rio Gian and welcome to the channel. The keyboard is definitely more on the gaming side, especially with the RGB lights turned on. The front reminds me of those clone keyboards with the double shot ABS caps due to the way how the letters would break. This is a standard layout but I'm not too sure about the aftermarket for membrane keyboards. This is a TKL model so the hand placement would be very nice. The overall form factor of the keyboard is compact so that it would be a great fit for those who have limited desk space. The enclosed design is something that is taking me back to the old days of the keyboards which is nice but it means it's harder to clean later on. If you don't clean your keyboard often or not at all then it's not a big deal but if you do then this is something to look out for. The media controls are bound to the F keys. There's a windows lock which these are useful features if you use them a lot. This is a membrane keyboard so in terms of longevity I would say it's about 1 to 2 million keystrokes, I remember that from somewhere and this isn't an expensive item but I also wouldn't say it's cheap either because 10 or more dollars can score you a mechanical keyboard so it's entirely up to you and how you want to spend your money. Personally I would swing for the mechanical keyboard just because it feels better to type on. I don't think there are stabilizers on this keyboard. It looks like there's two holes and keycaps to fill the spots. In terms of the feel for the longer keycaps, they don't feel uneven which is surprising because usually these guys, if you don't have some kind of stabilizer, the longer keycaps would feel pretty unstable. So good job. It looks like they use ABS double shot for the keycaps which is cool. Then again at $40. Nah, I still think it's cool that they use double shot ABS. It beats other manufacturers that use much more expensive keyboards and those guys still use those friggin thin ABS caps. So for the price this is also a good job. The flip up feet does have rubber on them so the keyboard will be planted at both angles. Besides this, the back have an interesting design. It seems like they just want to save more money so they cut out some of the plastic pieces to save room. The cable is rubber and the USB tip is silver so you either like this or you don't. In terms of typing this keyboard is weird. I think I have a faulty unit because the space bar wouldn't work half of the time. There are so many times when I know I hit that space bar but it just doesn't seem to register. The keyboard is downright pissing me off on multiple occasions and anyways here's what it sounds like. Since this is a combo, I feel like I should give the mouse a chance. The mouse is actually really good despite it being just an add-on to the keyboard. I wish the mouse was bigger, but this is just me having bigger hands. For those of you that have smaller hands, I think the mouse is perfect for you guys. The texture of the mouse is smooth, the buttons are responsive and tactile, which are the best kind. For me, claw grip is not the best but personally I would prefer palm grip. Then again if you're a claw grip person I think this mice mouse would be perfect for you. The scroll wheel is okay. This would be the worst part of the mouse. I feel like the scroll wheel is slippery and there are times when I use the scroll wheel and I would just miss that scroll. 
In terms of performance, I went in expecting this is a cheap mouse, but for the most part, if you tune the DPI to like around level 3, it should feel about right in terms of playing games and daily use. If you plan on using this mouse for any kind of competitive games with money on the line, I would pass on this mouse. If we divide up the combo in half, then I think $20 for this mouse is actually a pretty good deal. As much as I like the mouse, I hate the keyboard. I don't think this keyboard is meant to be used on a daily basis. If you plan on buying a gaming keyboard, I would suggest avoiding this keyboard like the freaking plague. Because it's a membrane keyboard and for this price, I think it might just be possible to find a red switch mechanical keyboard if you want to use a keyboard for gaming. If not, then I would say save up the money for a red switch keyboard instead of getting this. I would provide links below to good cheap red switches keyboard for you guys to check out instead. Anyways, made it this far, click subscribe, ring the bell, more content, you guys stay awesome now.